Right, Superbike action out there on the track, and the uh, man with the red flag who was checking grip positions has disappeared off into the distance. We're ready for a start. Position Superbike Racing Team Sports Car has taken off there into the distance, but Scotty Moyer, second man in the uh, qualifying, runs wide on the outside, gets into the lead, but uh, momentarily runs wide. So all action already in the Superbikes, and he's back on the heels of Sloan Frost there. Looks to me like uh, Ryan Hampton. Place, Dennis Charlotte in fourth, Linda McGee, the uh, M1 Motorsport man in uh, fourth place. I'm still recognising colours and it looks to cut the Kawasaki is in fifth place. As I say that, he goes right round the other. Oh, there's the, Nick Cole is off. Nick Cole's off. Uh, runs that back tyre and just puts on the gas a little bit early and he's up and running around. He's up running back to his bike, but uh, lucky no one else got tangled off. So there's the second in the New Zealand Championships at the moment, Nick Cole is uh, off into the kitty ladder, so he's all right, that's the main thing. We look out to the distance and um, it is still, slow, well no, Sloan Frost is still in the front there, but the big black uh, and uh, orange bike of, uh, of uh, Scotty Moyer in second place, can't see too much else of the action, I was concentrating on that, I see fifth, still love it there in the bright orange leathers, every commentator's dream there in about 7th or 8th place and uh, you'll see Sophie Love as, as well, the daughter, the Australian team that have come out from Australia there. Um, there, somewhere in the distance. Look at it up in the long, long straight there. Scotty Moore is right on the tail, probably two to three bike lengths over and above. Pole sitter there, Sloan Frost on the Fujitsu uh, Suzuki GSX-R1000. Beautifully prepared machine. He had a bit of um, bad luck in the uh, Suzuki series and crashed. Right Scotty Moyer, half a bike move. He's a Taupo specialist. Tries up on the inside on the uh, coming into the uh, right hander there on the infield, but nothing to do there. Linda McGee, mate, good solid fourth place. He rides right up into the back of Dennis Charlotte and looking away on the inside of there. Had a practice week. Linda McGee is the uh, nephew of um, former Grand Prix Australian rider Kevin McGee. He came out here on the M1 Motorsport BMW S1000R and learnt the track and lay. There's Jaden Hassan flying up on the inside of Ryan Hampton. Uh, Ryan shuts the door on him there, but Jaden Hassan certainly uh, in fifth place there, closing up in on Ryan Hampton, but Ryan Hampton snatched that back. Looking out into the distance there, there's probably two to three bike lengths between it. Ten lap race here for the first superbike action for the afternoon. Those of you watching off in the distance have been too scared to come and pay to get in the gate. There's no one on the gate at the moment, but I didn't say that too loudly at the moment. But uh, New Zealand Motocross Championships just down the road. OK, come along, get a bit of a taste and come back tomorrow because we've only got one race today, but there's two action-packed races in all the classes tomorrow. And, of course, next weekend down at Benfield we'll have five races in each class. It is still slow and frost there and um, backed off a little bit maybe is uh, Scotty Moy, when I say a little bit, he's gone from two to three bike lanes, two to three bike lanes, the points leader in third place, Dennis Charlotte, but watch him, he's been hounded by the United States, 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 uh, a bit of a, a lacklustre qualifying back in about 12th place, but he's now up into 9th place. Phil Lovitz, Craig, Craig Scherf's on 56th and 11th, Sophie Lovett, Dylan Taylor and R Dylan Telford, sorry, and Richard Taylor and the DNF, of course, of Nick Cole. They've picked his bike up and he's sitting on the sideline, so that'll dampen his um, chance of a New Zealand championship. Won't put a threat on his second place at the moment, but certainly uh, puts that uh, winning the New Zealand Superbike Championships uh, a lot more distance than it was. There was 20 points between first and second as we went into this race, and of course now he's got no chance of scoring any points at all at the moment, unless of course this race is red flagged pretty damn quickly. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully that doesn't happen because uh, we want everyone to have a clean race. Clean race in the 600 uh, class, 21 starters, 21 finishes. And I was quite impressed with that. Look at that. Scotty Moyer's right on the tail of Sloan Frost as they come out of that sweeper. Uh, pit, well, I don't even want a bit of a sweeper. It's a left-hand corner coming onto the front straight. Scotty Moyer's done a lot of laps around here, whereas... Um, Oh, so I guess Sloan Frost has as well. I remember he did a three-hour a couple of years ago, about four or five years ago. He went out just to have a bit of practice, was leading the race, and uh, finished the race at the end. He decided to go back out, didn't have spare time. He just was just doing some practice, and he parked up there, and someone says, you're leading the race, and he's going to pass Moyer tries right there outside of the uh, first quarter, turn one here at Taupo. Tries right there outside. He's not going to give up. He had his first quarter, so 
down at Timaru. I think in about the seven days down at Timaru this year. And uh, a wet weather specialist uh, had some good strong showings. Run a Honda CBR 1000 a couple of seasons ago. And now he's onto this uh, Moto TT Track Day sponsored machine. And indeed, this is the oldest bike in the field. I believe this is a 2008 Suzuki GSX-R1000. Good solid third place for the underground brown Suzuki. Sponsored by, uh, yeah, sponsored by Underground Bound and uh, amongst other things. I'll, I won't even look at the program at the moment. That's Dennis Charlotte, the points leader. And uh, Linda McGee's putting the pressure on him all the way through. He's gone up the inside, he's gone around the outside, he's pulled up side by side. Linda McGee is certainly dogging her way at him. So, Jaden Hassan, the man that was just almost unbeatable on the uh, bike number 41 when he was running the 600 class, he's sitting there in sixth spot, the fastest man on the track at the moment. The quickest man out there is a 28.954 is Scotty Moyer. That's just 30 thousandths of a second quicker than Sloan Frost. And it almost shows on the track there's probably three bike lengths in it. So plenty of action right out in the lead. Plenty of action for second, and, uh, third and fourth place. It is still Dennis Charlotte, followed by... Uh, Linda McGee and then Jaden Hassan is closing up there and that's James Smith on the Honda. James Smith uh, was leading the two guys in the as well. Ryan right. Hampton there from Christchurch, two Christchurch players. Hampton's still number six. Tony's uh, Tony Rees on bike number 11, a man that's been around for about 30 years racing motorcycles, won the last Castrol 6 hour with I think Dave Hicks, the last of the big Castrol 6 hours, and he's, he's done it all. I think he was the last man to win both the uh, 600 and the Super Spike uh, Super Spike class in the same season, riding a 1,000 and a 600cc Yamaha, so that's Tony Rees. His balls will be over at the Motocross at New Zealand Motocross Championships today, competing, I'm pretty well sure, but the wife Vicky's uh, supporting Tony here at Taupo Motorsport Park. So still nothing in it for the lead two bikes. There's probably three bike lengths between it. As I say that, to uh, Scotty Moyer runs right up on the outside of Sloan Frost. Doesn't quite make it stick there, but he's certainly got the drive there. There's still that battle on there for third and fourth place. Nothing's changed too much. It is Dennis Charlotte. Dennis Charlotte knows he has plenty of points lead. He may or may not have seen Nick Cole parked up there in the kitty ladder. He may not have. Um, at the, where Nick come down was uh, fairly obvious if you were uh, if he was in front of you because the big green Kawasaki had a few flips and that sort of thing. But uh, he's now parked well off the side. But he won't be too worried about that. He'll be concentrating on what's on there. Now there's uh, Jaden Hassan. Jaden Hassan's closing up quite well. I'll be interested to see what the latest lap times are. So Jaden Hassan is right on that pack of people on the Suzuki New Zealand sponsored machine. So. Good showing from the young fellow from Auckland. So, Frost, Moya, and it is indeed Charlotte, uh, Little McGee, followed by Jaden Hassan. Then we've got 77, uh, Dan Smith. Excuse me, Hayden Fitzgerald, and I think after Hayden, yeah, in fact, after Hayden Fitzgerald, it was Tony Rees. Now, I said that uh, young Jaden Hassan was closing up. He's now the quickest man on the track. He's gone to 28785. 28785, and the quickest lap by anyone else is Sloan Frost on the 2906. So expect him to weave his way past both uh, Linda McGee and Dennis Charlotte. Don't let either of these boys give up, and don't let anyone uh, sort of. Uh, None of these guys are quitters there, so somebody's just going to check out the lap records for me at the moment, please. I don't know, I just handed the sheet behind me. Sloan Frost gets a bit of a break over and above Scotty Moore. There was two to three bike lengths of this. In fact, in the same lap, last lap, there was one, uh, they were side by side there, but there's now probably eight to ten bike lengths here. But the gaggle of uh, riders in third place is just all over the place at the moment, and Jaden Hassan, the fastest man on the track, is nipping at the heels of the other two lads there, and of course that's Dennis Charlotte. Uh, on the Suzuki GSXR and Linda McGee. Now, Sloan Frost is on Pirelli, so I don't even, actually, I don't even know what Scotty Moore is on, so I won't even talk about tyres. I know Dennis Charlotte's on Pirelli, so is Linda McGee's, and probably Jaden Hassan as well. And uh, Metzler's Jaden Hassan. Okay, thank you, Bernard Carpenter. I appreciate that. I haven't got around the pits and che checked up with everybody, but they come on to the front straight again, and you watch this guys from the front. It is still the same, but the uh, action is out. He's got through, Lou McGee from on M1 Motorsport Machine has got through on Dennis Sharp, who's made that stick, and Jaden Hassan, I would say Jaden Hassan's going to reel him in. Well, Scotty Moore is back up to the quickest man on the track at a 125, uh, sorry, at a 128.569. So 128.079 is coach. So we're not too far off lap record place here. And the quickest man on the track being Scott Moyer, the local lad, who's equally at home on a motocross bike as he is on a uh, superbike as well. Had his first win at Timaru, unfortunately binned it in the second of the race afterwards, but uh, he wasn't hurt and came out on fire in the third race. There he goes, he's closed up the gap. We've probably 12 bike links at the same place in the last lap. 
and it's now down to one to two bike lengths, so he's certainly making that uh, faster slap he's earned pay off. So uh, Sloan Frost will know he's there, the pit board will say he's there, but at the end of the day, Sloan's got to ride his own race at the moment. You'll see the pit boards, he's got on board lap times, and I guess at this level of uh, action and how close they are, he'll be able to hear that howling Suzuki in behind his own machine. They're coming down the long straight. 10 lap race, we're 6 laps into it, this is the first race of the weekend, we've got 2 more tomorrow, Scotty Moyer closes right up under brakes, doesn't quite have enough to it, he follows him, certainly follows him through, he may even be trying to push him into a mistake, but at the end of the day he's got his own race to run, and uh, the good thing about this is he's going to learn where he is on the track, it's always hard to lead a race, it's uh, easy to follow and you can work out exactly where it is. And Jade Nassan has come through on the Dennis Shah. Dennis Shah has just been to this track three times uh, on the 600s the last couple of years. And uh, last year it was on the Superbike. And um, he still comes to this track and it takes him a while to get used to it. He's had machine troubles in practice both at Ruapuna and Timaru. And uh, this time he says his machine's behaving perfectly. It's just him to get up to speed and get into it. Is not under threat despite him sitting in fifth place there. Remember, at Tibaru, he started ninth on the grid there and got right through and took some wins there. Scotty Boy had a win, but uh, Dennis also won there from ninth on the grid, so that shows the ability. Everyone's got ability out there, but uh, Dennis is actually almost looks like he's dropped off the pace a bit. So, uh, back out into the lap times, it is still ten thousandths of a second between Scotty Boy and Sloan Frost for their fastest lap. We look at them coming out the outer side at the moment, off in the distance here at Taupo, lap seven of a ten lap race, I've probably said that about 15 times, but I can only say it in so many times. Yeah, still Sloan Frost in the front, the different colours help the commentator out, in fact Sloan's got a little bit of a break over in Scotty Moyer, Scotty Moyer won't be given up at all, and look at that Linda McGee flying there, he's showing the benefits of coming out here and learning the racetrack in the wet, and he actually had a couple, uh, he had wins here a few weeks ago at the PMCC round on the same track as Scotty Moore. And of course we all know benchmark Scotty Moore is showing it on the track here, but he also had a win at Timaru, so uh, great showing by Linda McGee there in the first place. And, uh, he uh, was carrying some injury down the South Island, a big pressure series, and he had, I think, a great collarbone, maybe some sort of damage to his arm, but uh, good solid showing in third place. Watch two. Jaden Hassan there. Jaden Hassan is, was the quickest man on the track. Dennis Charlotte's come back in there. I said Dennis was backing off a little bit, but he's coming in there. Hayden Fitzgerald's been up in second place a couple of times this season. He had a couple of uh, two or three second places at Wanganui. James Smith and Ryan Hampton, the two Hondas, the first of the two Hondas in behind him. In fact, it may, yet yeah, no, I'm trying to have a little bit of trouble picking up which bike it is, but it may even be Tony Rees. In fact, it is James Smith and Tony Rees. Ryan Hampton has dropped back, and he's the leader of that next pack, and he's just ahead of Craig Sherris on the 56 jet. Yana's sponsor machine, followed by uh, Phil Lovett, the man in the orange leathers from Australia. Cessnock Earth moving machine on the Kawasaki ZX-10. Daughter Sophie, well that's pretty good, she's just in behind him, 11th and 12th places. She was struggling this morning, it was just getting used to the track. I says a lot of people struggle here first time round, but she's getting used to it. Dylan Telford back after a um, big crash down at Ruapuna on bike number 20, followed by Richard Taylor and unfortunately Nick Cole sideline there. They're coming across for another lap there as lap 8, the white flag is out. Now, Scotty Moore has already had one Superbike win. Um, Sloan Frost has had a couple, but uh, there it is. There's uh, point two one two between first and second as they go across the strike. Scotty's been following all those long line laps. He's been following pretty damn closely. He'll know exactly where he is. That's what he Linda McGee's having a good solid track. Charlotte, the fifth place, is coming back on form and right on the back of the tail of Jaden Hassan as well. So action of plenty right out between first and second and fourth and fifth here at Taupo Motorsport Park. The two Hondas of James Smith and Tony Rees, number 77 and number 11, are uh, dicing it off as well. There's probably three to four bike meter between it. James Smith already had a big crash this weekend and he said he can't, he can't change gear. He's in some trouble putting his... Uh, foot on the foot peg and changing gear. As I say that, Tony Rees pulls up side by side and going into the hip and he's going to try and outbreak Smith, but Smith shuts the door, so that's not going to happen. Remember, folks, the white flag out, the chequered flag's actually ready because we've had the whole field uh, covered all, and that's in almost half a lap, so that's good for superbikes. Nobody's been lapped this season in superbikes at the New Zealand level, and uh, that's good. In fact, the field is compressing a lot more as they used to be. What have we got? We've got 128 for the fast slap and 135 for the slower slap, and uh, unfortunately, old row zeros for Nick Cole, who's sidelined there, but he did jump straight up there. Sloan Frost has opened up a gap there. He's going to take another superbike win on the Fujitsu-sponsored machine. 
and uh, well deserved because he had a bit of a uh, difficult season down south but it's not all over until they come across the start finish line there we go Sloan Cross number four a big wheelie from Scotty Murray congratulations Scotty for second place Linda McGee good man everybody's really shit hot here man and ladies and uh, there's somebody's down there that looks like to be home for sure maybe or is that uh don't know who, there's a bike down there in the kitty litter, we'll have to come back with that, but uh, right now, oh that was a wee while ago was it? Yep, that was a wee, in fact that's Hayden Fitzgerald had a crash, unfortunately Hayden's had a bit of a shit of a season.